As Aromas Hivarmar's Tirumudi ceremony drew near, the entire Chola country became one tumult. There is no difference of opinion among the people regarding the wearing of golden hair on the bridegroom's bridegroom. Chola men, women, old people, children, city mandars, villagers, traders, and cultivators all greeted the coronation of ponies Salvara with great joy. Everyone was amazed and delighted by telling about the time of his birth and the wonderful manner in which he interacted with the citizens. The Ramagatha well describes how happy all the people of Ayodhya were when they learned that Dasarada had decided to perform the consecration of Rama. All the elderly women have become like Kosala. They were happy thinking that it would be a coronation for their sons and daughters. All the young women had attained the bliss of Goddess Siddha and adorned themselves with ornaments, thinking that they would be crowned by their respective husbands. All the old men who lived in the city of Ayodhya became like Dasarada. Mothers are similar to age dynamic Kar Kosala Amanat. Vedayar Vazitanath Dar, other women are similar. To Siddha, Anna resembles Mr. De Arathan. Himself is the only person who has done this. Kambanata has wonderfully depicted the state of mind of the people of Ayodhya. What did Rama do to gain the love and respect of the people of Ayodhya? All the glory of his Godanda was to be revealed at a later date. Isn't the glory of killing the giants like Ravana and freeing the three worlds from fear behind him? Did not the fact that he went with the sage Vishvamitra and left after completing his sacrifice showed the pride of Rama so much to the people of Ayodhya? Why? Vishvamitra didn't even come back to Ayodhya and say that? Some people in this world understand the act of heroism and philanthropy and touch people's hearts. Still others are admired by others by singing, dancing, composing poetry, and performing miracles in pictorial sculptures. Others are gifted in the womb and are born special at birth. Mother Nature endows them with the power to captivate the hearts of the beholders for no apparent reason. Aha! Mother Nature seems to be very partial. But what did we see? What do we know when Mother Nature has endowed them with such magical power and what other counterintuitive features have been added to match it? Wasn't Rama, who had won the hearts of the Ayodhya mantras so much and was worthy of their admiration, have to undergo all the sufferings that no ordinary person in the world has experienced? Did he not have to leave his country, go to the forest, lose his beloved wife and suffer unspeakable heartache? Aromas Hivarman is worthy of Mother Nature's generous bounty. His appearance captivated the hearts of all who saw him. His sweet speech and character won the love of all who came in contact with him. When he went to the battlefield of Elam, he did not get the opportunity to do so many heroic deeds. However, many imaginary stories about his heroic deeds spread throughout the Chola country. When we fall in love with someone, are we not ready to believe any exaggerated praise about him? From the time when Sundara Chola became ill and unable to move, people were worried about the possibility of confusion regarding sovereignty in the Chola country. Rumors were also spread that the small land kings like Palyavatarayar, Sambhavarayar and Parandharat's officials were plotting against the sons of Sundara Chola to give the title to the son of Kandaratatha. People did not know anything that could be said against Kandaratatha's son Madhurantha. But Madhurandhagan did not come and mingle with the people. It was only known that like his father, he hated worldly life and was deeply devoted to Shiva. From the time of Vijayalaya Chola, the Chola kingdom expanded and spread, trade flourished and people's lives improved. The people who were proud of seeing that many kinds of riches were accumulating in the Chola country from the countries conquered by the Chola armies, believed that the Chola empire should spread more and more. They doubted whether the progress of the Chola kingdom could continue if Madhurandhakar, who was fully engaged in Shiva devotion, ascended the throne. Apart from that, People feared that if Madhurandhakar came to the title, the law would be that of the petty kings. Even though people had great respect for Aditha Kari Kalar as a heroic warrior, there was no room for excitement about his ascension to the lion. Aditha Kari Kalar does not have the pleasant nature to charm people. He doesn't mix well with everyone. Apart from this, many mysterious rumors were circulating about Kari Kalar. Rumors were rife that he had committed some great crime and that his conscience was haunting him, and that he had lost the admiration of his father Sundara Chola. 
a variety of other fictional stories were also constructed. Therefore, when he died untimely, people did not mourn much, even though they paid respects to a great hero. They put the blame on the comet and somehow reassured themselves. The death of the great Pallavatare and the manner in which it happened had created a new admiration and respect for him in the hearts of the people. After rumors spread that Maya Mahini, who had married the brave old man in his old age, was actually a member of the Pandian clan, and that it was due to her instigation that the great Pluvatariyara's mind had become corrupt, and that the Pandian clansmen were the cause of Aditha Karakalar's untimely death, and when he learned the truth, the great Pluvatariya killed himself as an atonement for his crime, the people regarding the great destroyer, alas! Sin! They sympathized with that. Before he died, he said, abandon the idea of crowning a drunkard, and crown the beloved of Pani. The fact that he left orders to other small land kings also increased the people's respect for him. Did not that great heroic old man take his life to remove a great obstacle to the fulfillment of the wish in the hearts of the people? Long live his memory! Long live his clan! Thus the people praised him with gratitude. In the case of Madhurand Hakativar, no one in the public was aware of the fact that there had been an exchange of persons. No one knew the news except the royal family and those closely associated with them. Old Madhurand Hakkar spent most of his time inside the palace. He was very rarely exposed. Even on those occasions he does not mingle with the public. It was customary for him to be carried away in a mudupalak while his coronation was going on. The general public did not get a chance to look closely at his features. Therefore, most of the people did not know the details of the old Madhurand Hakkar leaving and the new Madhurand Hakkar coming. Therefore, None of those who saw the new Madhurand Hagar at the Tiravad Hirai festival in Thiruvaya 8 knew that there was any difference in personality. Only his wife Pungazali attracted the attention of some. Some said and others denied that the girl was the daughter of a small farmer. They said that she was an Odakara woman who used to steer a boat in the sea and that Madhurand Hakar had recently married her. Polygamy was common in those days for royal families and feudal lords so no one was surprised. The rumor that Madhurand Hakativar had said that he did not want the title, instigated by many minor princes, had made people respect him in general. His appearance, steeped in devotion to Shiva and reaching a state of ecstasy, also fostered that respect. Madhurand Hakkar did not like Chola Singhadhana in front of Pungazali, a water girl which caused him to attract the admiration of many more. They talked about giving some big position to Madhurand Hakatev when Pani's Selvar was consecrated. Two days before the coronation, people from different parts of the Chola country started coming towards Tanjore. Outside the Tanjore fort, it presented the only sea of people. The gates of the fort were left open. Earlier restrictions on entering and exiting the fort were removed. As soon as Tai was born, the day was fixed because if the coronation day was postponed, there would be an unmanageable crowd. They had also made many other arrangements for the comfort of the people. Selvar of Pani sent back the largest part of the great southern army which the Velar of Kajumbalar had brought with him. He had only a thousand soldiers with him. In the same way, the soldiers who had been stationed near Kudanda were brought back and sent back to their respective places. There were now only the soldiers who had been regularly kept for the defense of the fort of Chinapulvatariyar. Pavur soldiers, Kajumbalar soldiers and Vilakara soldiers forgot all their enmity and embraced each other, joking and cheering. They helped as much as they could to the people of color who thronged to watch the coronation. Sometimes these warriors indulged in monkey pranks for fun, but the people did not mind them. Tanjore Fort's interior and outskirts were decorated like Devendran's city of Amaravati. Every house in the city was crowded with guests from outside. Finally, the sun rose on the day fixed for the coronation. Seeing the glorious rising sun, dissipating the snow clouds and spreading golden rays, all the Mandars said, isn't it the crowning glory of Pani's lover today? Therefore, the sun is also shining with golden light. They were happy saying that. Long before the time for coronation, people started gathering at the door of the coronation hall. 
isn't it impossible for all the public to fit inside the hall? After the coronation ceremony, Pawnee's silver comes out of the hall and starts crawling through the streets on the head of the crowned elephant. For that, can it come later, what? If you come earlier, you can see Pawnee's silver P.O. and Makudam as he comes out. There was a separate back passage for the members of the palace to enter the coronation hall. Through it, Sundara Chola and Vanamadavi were followed by Sembian Madhavi, Madhurand Hagar, Punguzali, Kundave Prati, and Vanathi. Chief Minister Anuruddha, Chinap Palyavetarayar, Sambuvarayar, Senapati Buthivikrama Kesari, Malay Aman Malajadayar, and small chieftains, vassals, trade chiefs, district chiefs, Purandara officials, Sivakaryas, Vinakara Bhattaras, and Tamil great poets entered the great crowd that had gathered at the door. At last when Pani Selva and Vallavara and Vandiyathava reached the door of Makudabi Shekham Mandapam seated in an open thangarata shaped like a lotus flower. All the rites of coronation took place. The kings of the Chola clan put the crown of bells which they burn in the Saras on the day of Patabhishek, the garland of Navaratna which they wear on their chests, the sword which they wear in between, and the scepter which they carry in their hands in a big pictorial tambalam and the elders in the assembly took it in front of them. They touched the altar and blessed it. Then, Nalan Chitanar, the scholar of Asthan, stood up. Behind him stood a monk with a lyre in her hand, who plucked the strings of the lyre and played a sweet note. Bulavar Nalan Chitanar sang the ancient glory of the Chola clan and the history of the heroic kings who came and became famous in the area in a Chanda song mixed with music. As the song was very long and in a rare style that could not be easily recognized by the people of this time, we only mention it's just here. He marched as far north as the Himalayas with a large Chola army and carved the Chola tiger emblem on the snow-capped peak of Amalai. On his way, Nalanjali, Nedungili, Kulamuratu Thunchiakili Valavan, Kaparun Jolan, a great devotee of Lord Shiva, gave name and fame to this ancient clan and attained Shivapada. Vijayalaya Chola's Thirakumar Aditha Chola was another force that dispersed the clouds of the Chola army. When the Pallava was on the verge of being defeated by Aparajathan Pandian in the battlefield of Tirapurambayam, Aditha Chola rushed in like a tiger in battle and shattered the Pandian army. Later, in order to make sense of Pallava who betrayed his friendship without respecting the help he had done, he invaded Thande country and sent Aparajit to the hero's paradise by jumping on his elephant. Following his predecessor Kachanganan, he built 82 temples from Sayaparvatam, where the Kaveri originates, to the city of Bhumpur. Parantaka Chola, the son of Aditya Chola, was born carrying Viralakshmi and Vijayalakshmi on both his shoulders. Aminar, who defeated Pandian in Valor, Madurai, and Elam, became a lion for the Chera army. The Kalyakars and Venji Mandals beyond the Tungapathray River in the north trembled like those who had seen a dream of a lion when they heard the name of Parantaka Chola. Jealous of his fame, Kanaradeva of the Twin Realms assembled an army as large as the Seven Oceans and came to defeat Parantaka Emperor in battle. Paranthagar's eldest son, Rajaditha Deva, defeated Kanaradeva and his huge ocean-like army in the Thakola battlefield, which was similar to Kurukshetra, and then rode an elephant to the heroic heaven. Barantaka Kalarthil Achi Chidambharatu achieved the equal footing of the Supreme Lord after building the Golden Mandapam in the Nataraja Lord Temple. His son Kandaradatha Devar, a Shiva sage, was engaged in temple work and attained Shiva status. During his time, Arun Jayadeva, who freed Thande Mandal from the domination of the enemies and established the tiger flag up to the country of Chitpuli, separated from his family and left the sky without wanting to stay for a long time. His son Sundara Chola Emperor later ascended the Chola throne. Pandya pounced on the fox that came out of the pit where he was hiding and made it hide again in the pit. All the three worlds are coercively living under the shadow of Sundara Chola Emperor's white umbrella. During his time. Thus, how can our tongues praise Pani Selvara, who came from a clan that has enjoyed heroic fame for thousands of years? Perhaps it would be possible if the poets were born to sing his praises. It would not be possible for ordinary poets like us. Thus Nalan Chitanar ended by singing the glory of the Chola clan. 
After him vernacular poets, Buddhist monks, Sivakaryas, and Vaishnava Acharyas waited to greet him. How to make them finish short has become a major concern for those who have the Pat Abhishek Mukherdam. Chinapulvatare was one of those who were so worried. He took the ancient crown of the Chola clan with his hand and was ready to put it on the head of Pani's lord. Chinapalyavatare R, who had been looking around thinking of how to get the poets and pundits to finish the song as soon as possible, was recently approached by a new man. Many people were surprised to see how he entered the Asthana Mandapath beyond the crowd of people standing on the street. But Vandiyathevan was not surprised. Vandiyathevan, who knew that the man in disguise was all Alwarkadayan, looked at Pani's lover. He also seemed to pick up on the signal. I don't know what secret message Alwarkadayan said in the ear of Chinap Palyavatarayar. Immediately his face was full of worry and confusion. Hesitating for a moment, he took him and went to a less crowded part of the hall. This was observed by Pani's Selvar, who used to listen with folded hands whenever Nalan Chitanar used to praise the Chola clan, and now he said to the poet, Sir! Poet! Are not all the praises you have been telling all this time about my ancestors? I am worthy to sit on this ancient glorious Singh Gadhana and be crowned with bells. What have I done? Since it is not possible for Kalema to be here right now to tell about it, can they please take a moment while they can?" said. Pani Selvar, seeing the poet stunned, said, Sir. It is natural for you to be stunned, there is no blame on you. I have not yet done anything to sing my praises like that. I am going to start today," said.